So uh, we at our centre in India and elsewhere in the world now, uh, we realise and we, when you talk to children that we all have a footprint. Whatever you do, you cannot live on this planet without a finite footprint. You can minimise it, but you have a footprint. You have a carbon footprint. You have a you have an ecological footprint. You consume resources. Uh, even at the most basic level of what we consider acceptable lifestyles today, you do it. You have needs which are entertainment needs, you have communication needs. But that's when this whole concept of the handprint developed. And it came out with young children in a school in Hyderabad, in St. Mary's School, a young girl called Srija, 10 year old, uh, her hand and saying, how about looking at what we can do? What about positive action? Why do we only talk about the fact that we always have a footprint? Yes, we have a footprint, but we also have a handprint. And a handprint is what we can do to change the world. And that is such a powerful idea. So it's gone from that one school and one child. It's gone, gone today to a number of places. And people are using that as a concept. And Earth Charter is one such, one such place where the action part is the handprint. The value part is Earth Charter. And when I use those values to do positive action, I call it a handprint action. And that's how we combine those two in our ESD programs, that one determines and tells you how you and what you do, because I need to check what I'm doing vis-a-vis -vis some value system. But then when I actually do something positive using that, that's when I take a handprint action. And so we say, increase your handprint and decrease your footprint as, as a way of going forward.